now coming down into the arena now we're looking up Whitehall and we're seeing Harrow in the spotlight which is the uh, entry this year from the London Borough of Harrow in the Borough's competition Harrow in the spotlight You might be able to work this out for yourself. The preparations for the New Year's parade started many months ago. The 2017 London theme was Lights, Camera, Action. How were these words transformed into a float? Much of this was down to the manager of Wise Works, Simon Potter. He turned the concept into reality. We'd had some initial meetings with um, the other coordinators and quite quickly we came up with the, the theme of Charlie Chaplin. We have a thousand pounds which is given to us by the organising committee of the New Year's Day Parade. And you can imagine if you've got to, from that, produce the float itself, costumes, etc., that a thousand pounds doesn't go very far. So we have to be very creative in terms of, of the materials we have. Unfortunately, what we have here at Wiseworks are lots of donations of timber. So we we're able to use recycled wood to create our big frames. We got hold of some cheap canvas and we made our own giant canvases. We were able to find some old insulating material. And from that, we created our Hollywood light, Hollywood film camera, and our miniature piano. One of the early recruits was local professional artist, Peter Williams. Peter has not restricted himself to the more traditional size of painting, but 30 square meters. It's quite exciting painting on that big scale, that you don't have to do all the finicky detail. And because it's being seen at a, a, a distance, then uh, uh, people don't see all the little imperfections. Uh, uh, part of the design was a, a, a backdrop that was supposed to replicate an old silent movie film studio. And uh, we had to paint these like big barn doors. And um, I got a friend along to help me, and he's a painter and decorator, and he found it very difficult. He, he wanted to do absolutely straight lines and, and get, get it all neat. And I said, no, you don't need to bother with that. It's got to look like it's worn and weathered. It's, a, it's an old studio with several layers of paint, some of it peeling off. And uh, I had to get them to loosen up to, to do the painting. And I did a bit of research on Charlie Chaplin and his movies and uh, I was quite fascinated. I just thought of him as this little tramp figure that uh, just kind of um, uh, walks around in a waddling way and uh, uh, like the, uh, um, the granddad song, f silently falling about. But there was far more to him. He, he had a, a lot of interesting roles and, and I thought um, they would lend themselves to scenes on the, on the float. I threw myself into working and getting, getting in early and uh, it was a great help that uh, Simon, the manager of Wiseworks, made us um, all a, a full English breakfast to keep us going and plied us with cups of coffee and uh, it became a great pleasure and uh, the work was coming together and uh, we finished it in time. And With much of the work complete, it was time to see if everything fitted onto the flatbed truck. If it didn't, there would only be a few days to make changes before the Christmas holiday. Although there were a number of minor tweaks to be done before the big day, everything worked. With the audio up and running, it was time to drive to Harrow Civic Centre and meet the mayor and several of the dancers. The 
the local press were waiting for a photo call together with the mayor, ready for reassembling on New Year's Day. Eleven AM on the first day of two thousand and seventeen and all looks good. The closed, normally busy street was the assembly area. Even the rain which had been forecasted had not arrived. For all the Harrow participants, it was just a case of waiting for the off. Everything was working. The cameras had been attached to the float, so there was time to talk to some of the other participants. At position 65, the Harrow float was towards the end of the parade. Right, are we ready? Jason! Everyone look at the camera! Oh, that's really good. Toby, turn more. Other floats left, and the Harrow float was still waiting. Had they forgotten us? Eventually, there was some movement, just as a few spots of rain arrived. Ten minutes later, it was definitely raining. The dancers were all members of Beverly School of Performing Arts. The Beverly School of Dancing started on January the 11th, 1961, and is based in Queensbury in the borough of Harrow. In 1999, the school changed its name to the Beverly School of Performing Arts, with drama and jazz classes being added to the curriculum. Somewhat later, street dance was added. Starting at Green Park on Piccadilly, the 3.2 km route has remained largely unchanged since its conception, except for one, a big change. American TV broadcasters wanted the parade to finish in front of Britain's known landmarks. So in 2010, the route reversed so it would finish in front of the Houses of Parliament. Twenty minutes later and the light rain had strengthened to a downpour. However, the Harrow contingent carried on regardless. The show must go on. No wimps in the Harrow lineup. Many of London's 31 boroughs, along with the City of Westminster, are invited to enter the parade with some form of entertainment based on the annual parade theme. All entries are automatically entered into the borough's competition, competing for a share of the big charity prize, which in recent years has been £40,000. Harrow's record in the competition has been good, coming in the top section almost every year. About 30 minutes into the parade and the only change was that the rain had become much heavier. The dancers from the Beverly School of Performing Arts seemed to be oblivious and like true performers, just continued on. So heavy was the rain that the eight deep row of spectators had migrated to coffee shops. However, there were still large numbers to watch the final TV performance in front of the Houses of Parliament.
had Harrow done enough? A couple of days later, the results were in. In first place was the City of Westminster with Mary Poppins. The runners-up in second place were the London Borough of Lambeth with Pegasus and the Circle of Life and in third place was the London Borough of Harrow with Harrow in the Spotlight. Our feelings were, where can I get a cup of coffee? Where can I get warm? Because we, all of us, were absolutely drenched. Um, but alongside that feeling of cold and wetness, we actually felt quite elated because I think we realised that actually we'd done as well as we possibly could. The responses from the crowd as, as we did the parade were magnificent. You know, they cheered and clapped and really got into the spirit of the chaplain theme. Um, and I'm very proud of the work that um, the team here at Wiseworks did, our colleagues who helped with the choreography, the music, the dance, the organisation, the filming, everything. I think it's a great example of how when people come together from different expertise, different areas with a single purpose and work hard and have dedication and creativity, that you can achieve great things. And I, I'm actually very proud of, of what we achieved. Mm -hmm.